way all over southwest Florida. And today she's at a really nifty spot, Burn by Rocky Patel, which is in Naples. It's a high-end Cuban cigar lounge, and they've got the real deal, uh, real deal there. Oh, it's really very, very, very cool. Kristen is hanging out. So, Kristen, it looks like you've been eating since about 4 this morning. Great food there. <laughs> Cuban food is just that good, Jen and Greg. Good morning. They have Cuban sandwiches, Cuban cigars, Cuban everything here at Burn by Rocky Patel. They have an event coming up. It's called Havana Night on Thursday, and they're going to have a Leo right here, actually. Uh, he hand rolls cigars himself, so we're going to see what this process is like, Leo, if you want to get started, because these leaves come in from Nicaragua and Honduras, and so we have them laid out here right now. And this is what he gets to do and what people can come see demonstrations of at this event. So, Leo, if you want to explain to us how this process works. Okay, these cigars, is been, uh, it's three parts of the cigars, binder, filler, and wrapper. What I'm doing right now, and uh, putting the binder together, binder and filler. So, this tobacco has been aging for uh, five years in um, Honduras and Nicaragua. It's where uh, Rocky Patel have his uh, farms and uh, factories down there. So... And after I make the cigar, I suggest to let it rest for six to eight weeks. So the cigars is like blended together. So all the flavors are there. And uh, after I made the binder and filler over here, like you guys seen. All right, it's already looking like a cigar. So you roll it up there. And then once this is all rolled up, you once lay it in up, here. I uh, put it on the mold over here. And then when this mold is filled with all the cigars made in, I put the top on and I use a... Um, we can get it on there. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So then uh, we put it on a uh, vise and then we press it down. Okay, so let's say, because this takes a few minutes, so this one we just started working on, but these have already been pressed. So once you grab this, after it's been pressed, what's the next step? The next step is putting the final rubber on it, which I have it over here. So the rubber is giving like 80 to 90 percent of the uh, of the flavor on the cigar. Okay, so that's where all the flavor comes from. Yes, it is. So basically, this is like the dress okay. of the cigar. So it has to look good. Yeah, I gotta have it all dressed up and looking good so that you wrap the cigar that we just hand rolled in this final layer. Yes, I do that. Okay, and we have Havana night coming up on Thursday, so people can come see this process. Will you also be explaining to people how this works there? I will be uh, here on uh, Thursday the 19th of Havana night, and I will be explaining to people how this is done, and uh, all the questions they have, I can answer, like always. How cool is that? Jen, Greg, I want a hat like his. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, it's a great hat. That is. That cigar is fantastic. He's doing a heck of a good it's job. It's artwork. Yeah. It. I could watch that for an hour. That's amazing. Honestly, Kristen. Um, if he's not going to do anything with it. <laughs> great. I'll take it. Focus. Uh, anyways, that place is amazing. If you want to check it out, again, Havana Night coming up next Thursday. It's at Burned by Rocky Patel. They're going to have good cigars, fantastic cigars, actually, music, and a whole lot more. There is no cost to get in, so go check it out. It's in Naples at the Mercado. Oh, I, I, I've got it. What a great myself. night. Yeah. yeah, I've not been before, but I would love to visit. I think I might have to in the near future. If you have an idea for us here for more.